Uh, this next question comes from username too much fun too little time. Mm -hmm. They say the time flies when you're having fun. As of recent, I've been feeling like time has been moving much too quickly because I've been having too much fun lately, right? In order to slow down time, I have to make the Earth spin slower, right? Do you think if I could convince everyone on Earth to run the opposite direction that the Earth was spinning, the Earth would slow down because of the increased force opposite that of the direction the Earth is spinning? Or do you have any other ideas for how to slow down time? If we're running clockwise, they say, let's have everyone run counterclockwise. Well, see, Zane, if you do that, you will it will turn into a large hamster wheel. Uh, you're going to make it go faster. That's, That's what I'm saying. That's what I yeah. was going to get to. That's why so I was like, is that what they're saying? It? Okay. So they, if, if we're spinning clockwise, we all need to run clockwise, right? Yeah. Question asker, you're a big dolt because we ran in the opposite <laughs> you direction. You dolt. <laughs> We'd be running into a whole bunch of water, mm -hmm. and it doesn't work the same. I've tried water aerobics. Thank you, Mom. It didn't, uh, it's not, it, you don't get much force. You don't get much power, and that's two-thirds of our of our uh, globe. And so uh, <laughs> if you start doing this, you're going to hamster wheel, and you're going to have a lot of drownies I mean, is what I'm saying. <laughs> the springs, yeah, and you're going to lose a lot of your momentum if you lose the people. Then it's just not going to be as eventful as you want it to be. It's going to be a whole thing. Emotionally and physically. It's going to be just a whole a lot thing. Of momentum emotionally. A is weekend mess is what we call yeah. it. A mess of a weekend. This is a holocaust waiting to happen. That's a good reference. All right. This is, Thanks. This is like the same question of if you got everybody in one area to get up on a chair and jump off the chair at the same time could we push the earth out of orbit and the answer is mm. no we couldn't it would will it would you, barely budge will you smush the earth a little bit <laughs> if everybody got on a chair at the same time and they jumped off and hit the ground could we smush the earth a little bit could we smush it and by smushing it would we slow down time yeah of course. I think that's the question. Um, okay, so the way that physics works is that if you have a larger object, it actually spins slower even though it has the same amount of force, right? Something like that, right? So I think we need to blow up the Earth. Right. I'm listening. The, blow up the Earth like a balloon. Not like a bomb, like a balloon. Um, so that it is larger so that your days are going to take so much longer to happen. And I think you get more time in that case. I've heard this theory that if you go to space, time slows down like a lot. And if this this is a personal thing, you feel like you're missing out and you need time to slow down. Do you need it to slow down for just you? Because if so, have a nice little relaxing uh, trip up into space in one of Elon Musk's Teslas and just drive around the solar system for a little bit. Just go on a late night drive. Late night drives clear everybody's head, but go on a late night drive through outer space and just like a 10 minute drive in space and when you come back it'll be 2050 and like so much shit will have changed and i just realized that this is this you're is going to be opposite. the opposite of helping you you're doing the opposite yeah, but at least for yourself you all this money that we've gained up over all of our podcasting career over uh what is this episode six yep uh over these last five episodes uh we each got teslas which is pretty cool my favorite yeah. thing about buying elon musk's tesla is that i get to leave orbit whenever i freaking want and i know? think it's very important that the listeners know that when we say elon musk's tesla we mean we bought the first one he made off of him like They're not autographed. ones that he's making not he autographed it in a pen that doesn't come off yeah which is super cool too because he, he made that and then he also he also tattooed my arm but it said it says telsa he spelled it wrong <laughs> that's the worst but it's really unique he and also was, wrote sorry i spelled it wrong also in tattoo yeah and when an archaeologist finds that later on and and like down the road it'll be like a really interesting quirky thing to tell stories about it will be because they'll have had to find me while i still had skin and that would be a really interesting quirky thing for them to uncover as an archaeologist okay so this if this is the theory if outer space is going to make it slow down time when you get back to earth all you got to do is dig to the center of the earth because then this is the perfect solution i'm just realizing this five You're minutes spinning five minutes in the center of the earth when you come back up like after after uh let's say you spend like a half hour down there like a second of time has passed on the surface so now you're good to go so like now if you really just want to like ugh, 
I need to just chill and listen to like my favorite podcast. And I'm not even referring to us if it's not us. Do whatever you got to do. Maybe you get maybe you just like the smooth jazz channel on like FM radio. Whatever is your preference. I don't judge. You get down there. You listen for like half an hour. You come back up. It's still Family Feud is still on. You haven't missed a single thing. Steve Harvey's still doing his thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I what I like what you were saying also earlier about going into space in order to slow down time. And I think the way that works is if you're traveling fast enough in space, by the time you get back around, time is just completely warped. And so I think what we can gain, we don't have to even do that directly because we know that you don't have the podcast money that we have in order to buy. Right. It tells us. Mm -hmm. But um, I think that the, the moral of the story here is the more you speed up your lifestyle and just do everything much, much quicker, the more it's going to seem like everything is slowing down. Right. So I think you need to gain a busier, more hectic, stress induced lifestyle in order to feel like you're really slowing down and getting life to its fullest. Yeah, I think for one in the morning, we both probably summed that up as best as we can get out of our systems. 